morning in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our monthly theme has been Victorious in Christ in every trouble, and I thought it was appropriate this week that we give thanks in every trouble. Our weekly theme, give thanks with shouts of joy and victory. Thanksgiving week, full of blessings and full of time of reflection, and hopefully through those difficult things. Our theme for this month has been the season of end times. Please follow along through the liturgy. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. We're going to continue with our hymn of the day. It's hymn 370. We're going to sing verses 1, 2, and 3. <laughs>
Our lesson for today comes from Psalm 118, verses 1 through 7. And in these verses, you get a chance to reflect on the goodness of God, but it also reflects on the judgment of God as well, and how we as Christians, as believers, celebrate that judgment and look on it as a triumph, especially during this time. Our word of God for today. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Let Israel say, his love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, his love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his love endures forever. When hard pressed, I cried to the Lord. He brought me into a spacious place. The Lord is with me, I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? The Lord is with me, he is my helper. I look in triumph on my enemies. The word of God. We're going to sing our seasonal song again. Pastor Bauer will be leading in the verses, and you guys can join on it. Jesus Christ, his son, so that the Christian church might grow and prosper. 
Your will be done on earth as in heaven. We pray that the Holy Spirit would strengthen us to do and accept God's will in life and death, in good times and in bad, and that we might have power to put down our own sinful will and its desires. Give us, give us today our daily bread. We pray that our Father would also give us our daily bread, preserve us from greed and selfish desires, and help us to trust that he will provide for all our needs. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. We ask that God would forgive our sins as we forgive those who sin against us, so that our hearts may rest and rejoice in a good conscience before him, and that no sin may ever frighten or alarm us. Lead us yes, not into temptation. We pray here that God would protect us from all temptations and help us by his spirit to put down our sinful flesh, to despise the world and its vices, and to overcome the devil and all his trickery. But deliver us from evil. And finally, we pray that God would deliver us from all evils of body and soul, now and forever. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. All those who sincerely desire these things will say from their hearts, Amen, trusting without doubt that their prayers are answered in heaven, as Christ has promised. Whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you will receive it, and it will be yours. Amen. Amen. But you, dear friends, by building yourselves up in your most holy faith and praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourself keep yourselves in God's love as you wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ to bring you to eternal life. To the only God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, power, and authority through Jesus Christ our Lord before all ages, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. We have uh, a couple of different things that need to be done here. Rachel, help. Maybe you can just press play. Good morning, everyone. If you guys didn't know, next week is already December, which means it's the season of candy grams. And we do candy grams every year, but the Boys on Student Council decided to make a video just showing what it's about and everything that goes along with it, like price and stuff. Do you want to make your friend's day? Do you want to tell your crush how you really feel? Or do you just want some candy? Well, I got just the thing. Candy grams! I love you. Stick with mine. I did not study for physics. Candy grams come with a candy cane and a special note. The buyer must write a special note with that special someone's locker number on the note. It is 75 cents for one. $2 for three, or $3 for five. This will go from December 2nd to the 8th. So either first or second lunch. So you write a note, and it doesn't have to be for a crush or a secret admirer or any of that kind of stuff. It can be just for your friends. They decide to be funny with it. And you just write a note, and then a candy cane is attached, and people will go around and be like the angels and stuff, and they'll take it to the locker. And then that's just a great way. And all money goes to the mission, so it's a great way to get involved with Charlotte. And then Maddie has an announcement. Hey guys, so um, this is just a reminder that this is the last week for the food drive. Um, so remember we are looking for non-perishable food items and these items should be placed in your homeroom. Um, the homeroom with the most food will get donuts. 
and there are also some school-wide goals that we are trying to reach. So if we get 1,000 items as a school, there will be different music in the halls for a day. If we get 1,200 items as a school, we will have a pajama day. And if we get 1,500 items as a school, there will be a special schedule with something fun to do at the end of the day. Um, besides these awesome prizes, this is a great way to help those in need, especially around Thanksgiving. So if you guys have any questions regarding the food drive, please feel free to contact me, Anna Sulphur, or Cameron Cheney. Um, I, that's all I have, so if there are no other announcements, you guys are dismissed.